Hello everyone, you're watching Damage Drop, my name is Drunk Dog, and we're gonna continue playing Hearthstone. We are in the arena today. Last time I chose that I was gonna place a paladin between uh, a shaman and... Uh, I can't remember what other choice this was, but between three characters I could choose. I chose for the paladin. And now we gotta choose the cards that I'm going to be playing with. I'm gonna build my deck out of random cards that I am given. And we got Holy Rat here, which I don't consider being very good. Because you can deal the damage off. You can get... You draw a card and the card that you draw you deal that damage off. So if I, I can I can draw like a high cost card and do a lot of damage. Or I can draw like a one cost like this and deal like one damage. And you pay like five mana for that, so... A little bit of a risky card. Uh, got Twilight Drake, which is pretty good, but it got it chains gain one health for each card in your hand. So if you don't have any cards in your hand while you're playing him, it's not that good either. But it can be pretty good though. Light Warden is really, really good if you can heal it or heal something basically, because it gains two attack every time. A character is healed. This is perfect for priest deck. I am a paladin, so I don't have a hero ability that can heal like the priest does. But I still think I will go for it because I might get some healing stuff. And I, yeah, it's still a solid one cost to start off a match, I think. So let's go for it. Okay, we got Holy Light. I don't really consider healing stuff, just straight up healing stuff to be pretty good, even though it is. 6 health for just 2 mana is pretty cheap, but you also get Trucible Champion, which is really good. This heals you for 2 and you still and you get to attack with it as well. You can deal 4 damage. You can use it twice. And uh, that's really good. You get uh, when you converse new witch, it's really really good, but your minions cost 3 more, so it's a bit of a risk. I really like the Trucible Champions, so let's go for that, Usually, uh, and that also works really well with the Light Warden, because uh, when I use this I will heal myself for 2 and that will buff this, so that's really good. We have the Garden of Kings here, so maybe I should... Hmm, we're getting a lot of healing stuff here. I like the Loot Hoarder, because it's a pretty good 2 cost and it gives you a card. But then again, we got a lot of stuff that... We Works with healing and the Garden of Kings is pretty good. Let's go for him, it's pretty good. Got another weapon, just 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 uh, this only does one damage, but you can use it four times. Got the Ogre Mage Eye, don't really have any spells yet, and we don't really have any three casters yet either. So let's go for uh, Iron Rifleman, can deal one damage or something, probably remove. Some creature. So an ancient, all all the uh, all the pandas in this game, they has this battle cry that you can pull a card off the field into your hand again. So that's really good if something is, is about to die or you just want to play a battle cry again. We do actually have a lot of good battle cries we can do that with actually. But then again, it's also nice to have a loot order. We don't have any two cards. Let's go for the loot order, I think. See, uh, Spellbreaker, that's uh, one of my favorite cards. Really good stat, and it's got Silence. The Silence is pretty much that it just erases the card text here. So let's go for Spellbreaker, they're really good. Okay, Guribashi Berserker is also really good. It's, uh, but you gotta damage it to get more attack and stuff. You can get out of control if you can heal it like crazy. Flesh Eating. Ghoul is also really good, because whenever something dies against one attack, so this can also get out of control with crazy. The Snapjaw is pretty shit, it's uh, 2 7 for 4, it's... If you can give a taunt, I guess it's pretty good, or it might be good in a Hunter deck, because it's Beast. But, uh, I don't have any... Let's go for Flesh Eating Ghoul, because I don't really have any way to... Uh, attack that good Bashi Berserker there. Um, what do I have here? Okay. St 
Stone Tusk is not that bad because it's a 1 1 charge. It's actually nice to just remove some weak stuff. And again, we have this Novus Engineer, which is card draw, which is also pretty good. Don't have any 5 cost stuff yet, though. Okay, let's go for the, the Commando. Okay, we got Holy Rat again. Said I'm not a really big fan of that. Best Champion is really good. Mind Control is uh, it's really good, but uh, the opponent really has to have four or more minions on the field to take advantage of the battle cry. But the Blessed Champion is like perfect, it's so good, so let's go for that. Mana Rate, I actually like the Mana Rate if you have a, sp uh, like a spell heavy deck, because all minions cost one more. Not just spells, so if you ha already have a lot of minions and play this, you can like regain your board. You can have your board control a lot longer, I think. Divine Favor is pretty good if you're low on cards and uh, your opponent has a lot. Let's go for Divine Favor, I think. Yes. Yeah, let's, okay, let's go for it. The Grimscale Oracle is pretty much only good if you have other Murlocs, which I don't have. Strength or Torn Tiger is really good. It's 5 5 with stealth. The Mogshan Warden is. It's not the best taunt in my opinion. It got a lot of health, but. People aren't really afraid of attacking it because it only deals, deals one damage. But then again, I don't have any taunts yet. No. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, we get another taunt here. We get uh, Acidic Swamp Boost, which is pretty good. It's got 2, 3, 4, 2, and it also destroys a weapon if they have one. Gorehand also got pretty high damage and amount of health but I think I'm gonna go for Fent Creeper because it's a pretty good taunt. Harvest Golem is really great. Got good stats and when it when it dies it summons a 2-1 as well. So that's really good. It's hard to you know can't even if you kill it you still you can still get something afterwards. But just hmm but Think about maybe getting an ancient brewmaster. They got good stats, and we got a lot of. We got some good battle cries we can replay here. Let's go for it. I think we need a little bit more. Don't really have that many low cost creatures. Except from like the Light Warden and Loot Hoarder here. Bless Blessing of Wisdom is pretty good, I like that. Also, Blessing of Might is also pretty good. All these are pretty good, actually. I think we just go for Blessing of Wisdom, really, actually. Let's go for it. Get a lot of card draw out of that. Okay, so here we get, an, get some low-cost stuff, which is what we we need. Leopard Gnome. Is this a one-cost, so we can play it on one turn? On our turn one. So, I think we just. I'm not that big. Light Sword Justice can be good, but. Go for Leopard now. Shilvin Yeti is uh, a really good card. Just got good good, uh, good attack and good health for the cost. Redemption is can be good, but it returns with one health, so. Hmm. Yeah, I might. Hmm, I just should win I think. Got the holy, got holy light here. I'm not that big fan of healing, but we do have a uh, light warden and. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Hmm. The Murloc Tide Hunter is actually really good. It's 2-1 and it also summons a 1-1, one, one, so it's really good early game. I think go for that, actually. Ah, here we get another true silver champion. Silver Moon Guardian is also 
really good. Let's go for true civil champion, I think. Alright, so do we need we still need some more taunts, I think. Maybe. Let's see what we have. I think maybe it should go for Frost Wolf Grunt because we don't really have any early early taunts. Let's go for that. We've got another Light Warden, which is really good. Knife Juggler is also really good. But they do have they do have a reasonable amount of healing stuff. I can work with Light Warden, but Knife Juggler is also pretty decent. Hard. I like them both. Let's let's go for Knife Juggler because we already have a Light Warden. Let's go. For, yeah, let's go for that. I think. All right, another Holy Light again. Uh, Wood Doctor. It's, it's okay, but the Dark Iron Dwarf is really good. We got four, 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 four. <laughs> And uh, it can, you can you can buff a minion with two attacks. That's really good. Okay, so we got another flesh-eating ghoul. You can get a dread corsair. It's actually pretty good because it costs less for uh, each attack of our weapon. We have two. Uh... Yeah, so if if you if you actually have a true civil champion, the dread corsair out. Uh, will be free to play if you have a true civil champion out. We do have two of those. I think we maybe go for the Dread Corsair. Uh -huh, this, this, uh, both the Raid Leader and the Frost Wolf War Leader, uh, Warlord is like those a lot. Actually, the Worg Worgen Infiltrator is also pretty good. Let's. Uh, I think we should probably go for the raid leader because we need some more. We need to get a smoother curve here. It's really heavy on the forecast there. I said I love the Shilwin Yeti, but we're really heavy on the forecast. I prefer the Silver Hand Champion over the Dark Scale Healer because it's Dark Scale Healer got one more health, but this summons a two-two as well. But then again, we, we can buff our Light Warden with that heal, but I don't really wanna. I don't wanna, like, depend on my deck being played around the Light Warden, really. Let's go for Silver Hand Knight, I think. It's really good. Okay, so we get another taunt. Uh, am, I, am I doing good on the taunts so far? I got one taunt. Just take a quick look. Two taunts, three, three taunts. I, pref I will prefer to have at least four taunts. Probably more than that as well. Okay, let's go for the Buddha Bay bodyguard. Let's see, we got another Dread Corsair actually, which could be pretty good. Really heavy on the forecast, so maybe I should go for a River Crocolisk. They're pretty good as well. At 2 3 for 2 is pretty good stats. Let's go for River Crocolisk. Have we got another Tauntus? It's, um, got an eye for an eye, a secret. Not really a beef. I mean, the damage you take. Will be dealt to the other guy as well, which is like, mm, I can just hit for one. Like, <laughs> so you go for a fan creeper. So now we got, I don't think we need that many more taunts. Saying that, we get the eye for Grizzly, which is a pretty good taunt, actually. But, it, but the, uh, Ar the Argent Protector is also. F Really good. It's two two. And he gives someone divine shield. Don't have any six costers, and I don't really have many 
Don't really have that many powerful creatures in this. Go for Ar Argent Protector. We like to get some 6 7 costs or higher, really. Let's go for Blessing of Might. We don't really have much spells at all on this. Pretty much only creatures here. Even though the Shandy Shieldmaster is pretty good. Could do with having some uh, spells and buffs and stuff. Well, the Ancient Watcher is pretty much shit as hell because it can't attack. So unless you give, it, unless it, a sil it wastes like a silence on it or something, it's, uh, I wouldn't take that. So we get Wild Pyromancer after you cast a spell, deal wall damage to all minions. We, we don't really have many spells, so that won't really be. This is also triggered on casting spells, really, so none of these cards are really good for the deck I got here. But we're gonna have to pick one. I think we go for the Garrison Auctioneer, he's a 4 4. And if we decide to play like some spells, we get some card draw for it. I like that. Hmm. Okay, so we're done with the deck now. I'm not 100% sure about this deck. <laughs> Don't really have that many spells and remove. We have basically no removal, which is can be a problem. Can be a big problem, actually. Got a little bit of like battle cries and stuff, but. It's really, really uh, mean and heavy, that's for sure. Well, there's only one way to see how good this deck is, and that's by playing someone. Let's jump in and see how we do it. Probably not my best. I have, have built a lot better decks. I just didn't think I really got stuff that worked that well together there. But we'll see, maybe I do good with it. A warrior opponent, as always. If I offer rogue, rogues can be pretty nasty, so we gotta watch out. Okay, at least we got a one cost. Uh, we don't have weapons to toss this, and this. Yeah, let's go for this. Come on, get some low cost stuff, please. Nah, not good. Not that good. At least we can let the normal one. Turn one. Ready for action. If we can use to kill that footman. Alright. So he's probably gonna ram that footman into my face here, I think. I don't see why he would kill the Lepanon, because he know I gotta kill it. He also uses his uh, hero build to get a, uh, a dagger with one attack. Alright, so we get the Dread Corsair back, which we can play on turn 4 with the True Silver Champion, that's really good. If we don't have any 3 casters, so using the coin is a waste, so let's just use a hero power to summon a 1 1 and kill the taunt. The death rattle will deal 2 damage to the hero, and we're done for this round. Okay, so we place a taunt, hits me in the face. Alright, at least I have uh, something to play now. <coughs> So about that, my throat got a little bit. I just drink a little quick here. <coughs> there we go. That was a little bit better, I think. Not that much, but. So I think we just coin the true civil champion, which means we can get that the dread corsair for free. Really nice, and we can also just straight up kill this taunter. The true civil champion. 
and also heal us a little bit and just hit him with uh, the recruit we summoned or reinforce I think they're called get yeah, the recruits yeah right so he plays he gives he gives both of us <laughs> uh, both of us card draw here so I don't oh I was returning it okay I don't really mind because he gives me card draw as well as he gives himself card draw. Which I don't, I don't, I don't like this card because I don't like giving my enemy card draw. But he doesn't seem to mind because he just played it twice. I guess he wanted options. He didn't have any. Now I got a shit ton of options suddenly. Jesus, is, is he trying to? F he might be able to like try to flood my hand here because if you get more than ten cards, I think you'll start losing cards. So what should I play? I guess I should play some love. Okay, we don't need card draw, so let's play Murloc maybe. Murloc and uh, Frostwolf. Put just some more Murloc maybe. Let's go for Lutor. Let's just ram and listen to that. I think yes. We don't want to use the the sword on. Uh, on the other player, we wanted to. We don't have. We don't have. We have very little removal in this deck, so we, I want to use this to kill off some minions. Oh, we clears my board. I set my taunt there. Ah oh, man, fast ring is a really good card. Okay, so I guess we just booty bay bodyguard, maybe. Or should I maybe yeah Mugsha Warden seems to be got more health so we have to use longer to beat through that. Cause if I would if I played a bodyguard here, could I just kill it with these two? Thing is because of that uh, Murloc he played at the beginning we both got like so many options. <laughs> Look at all these cards we have. Yeah, here we go. So many options. Take a long time to decide what to do, which is understandable because I got a lot of cards, so. Oh, charge with the bind shield. Is he gonna ram straight into that? Then it's probably gonna. It's gonna kill it off with both of these. Oh no, alright. <coughs> he decides to leave it at one. So, what to play now? Uh, might just play another taunt, maybe? No. Got a lot of taunts here, actually, now. Let's just, let's just play the Yeti and uh, a slightly weaker taunt. And then I think we just kill this with a weapon, I think. And. Let's uh, go for his face. He's gonna kill this anyway. So we don't want to do his job for him. Alright, so take that with a dagger. Let's see, what are we gonna play? Oof. Got an Iron for a Grizzly, pretty good. It's gonna. Oh, it's gonna boost that. Oof. Alright, I really need to get a taunt up now, I think. I can't kill it with my Iron Forge Ruffman, which will would be pretty good because that can go through the taunt. But what? Then I got four, four mana left. What can I use? What can I do with four mana? 
Probably just raid leader, maybe. Okay, let's play the raid leader. And we kill this. Then we beat through the taunt. Like that. And we end our turn. That leaves we, me with uh, three creatures on the field. He got nothing. Nothing at all. He got slight health advantage, but not that important. Okay, plays a big, big taunt here. He's going straight for me with daggers. Okay, so I think I just play it. He can't kill my Fen Creeper with his taunt, but I'm not sure if he... that's actually a bad trade for him, I think. But then we can Blessing of Might something. We also got a... Okay, so I guess we trade that. Okay, so let's go for Fen Creeper. Then we kill his taunt. We give this guy a little bit more damage. Summon a recruit and we go straight for his face. Alright, so I think I'm doing pretty good here. I got taunt and some stuff to back it up. Slightly more health than he has. Good amounts of cards to choose from. I think this is looking pretty good. Hmm. Having a long think what is gonna what is what he is going to do here. Alright, the Dread Corsair is out. Got a follow up with that. Here we go. Oh, gives. How, how does that work? How? It's how can a taunt be stealthed? Never seen that. Can I? Does that mean I can't attack it? If the if I can't attack it, that's been like what the hell? Can I attack it? I must be. I mean, it, if I won, if I, if it's not possible to attack it, that's how the hell am I gonna win? <laughs> Okay, so thinking about let me boost this guy even more and play another taunt here. Let's go for another fan creeper actually. I must be able to attack this, right? What the hell? So I gotta kill this then. That's weird. So it's actually a taunt that doesn't have taunt anymore, that's... The battle. Wow, that's weird, it just... It just removed the taunt, basically. The battle. Oh, it's fine by me, I can hit him in the face now. That was really weird, I've never seen someone stealth a taunt creature before. So I guess he isn't a taunt anymore, but the shield is still there. It's really weird. Oh, nice play there. Well played. But he is really low on life now, and I. Oh, Cult Master, he's running out of cards. 
So you wanna... So whatever, if I, if I kill some of these minions, we get a card for each one of those. Oh, I think I just won here by getting this blessed champion. Yeah. Here we go. So that, that was the first arena match. Freaking one. <laughs> Surprising. I wasn't sure if this deck was gonna hold up, but did win the f did in the first round anyway. So let's uh, see if we can keep this going. Let's play another one.